Namaste everybody and welcome back to yet another video about Nepal. Today's video is going to be all about five reasons why you should travel to Nepal. Before I get into the video, I just feel like it's appropriate to give some context about myself. I have been in Nepal for three months. My visa has actually expired last week. I am currently in Nepal right now as I am filming this. I am in Pokhara, stuck in the lockdown uh, that has obviously taken over the world. But I thought what a perfect time to uh, create this video and share with you five reasons why you should come to this amazing country. Like any country that you travel to, but especially when you come to a country like Nepal, which is a developing country, you need to come to places like this with an open heart and an open mind to experience the real culture and authenticity that this place has to offer. If you open yourself up to a new culture and new experiences, then for sure you will have the time of your life here and I can guarantee you that Nepal will be one of the best places that you can travel to. So let's jump into it. Here are five reasons why you should travel to Nepal. Firstly, I think one of the main reasons why hundreds of thousands of tourists come here each year, and this is definitely one of the main reasons why I came here, is purely for the natural beauty that this country has to offer. Obviously, Mount Everest is the most popular and famous mountain in the world, but apart from that, you have the absolutely incredible mountains of the Annapurna Peaks and many, many more. Not only mountains, you have an abundance of lakes. Even here in Pokhara, there's three incredibly beautiful lakes. On the Annapurna Circuit, you have Talicho Lake, which is the highest lake in the world. Along with so many other natural incredible beauties that this country has to offer, Nepal also has 10 UNESCO heritage sites. Did you know that Nepal has eight of the highest mountains in the world? Because I didn't know that before I came. Reason number two why you should come here is because of the adventure and the activities that this place has. There is a huge, huge, huge abundance of activities and things to be done, especially for adrenaline junkies, or even if you're a first time trekker, to an absolute expert. There are so many different varieties of treks, as I said, from each level of the spectrum that you can come here and do. Whether it's paragliding here in Pokhara or trekking the Annapurna circuit and sleeping under snow-capped mountains, you name it, you can do it here. If you want to trek to 6,000 meters plus to the highest peaks there are in the world, then this is the place to come to. Or if you want a more of a relaxed time, then go to the mighty hot springs on the Annapurna base camp. Nepal really is one of the best places in the world for pure adventure and activities. If anyone's wondering, by the way, why I'm saying Nepal, it's because after three months of saying Nepal, as I was saying previously in my English accent, people kept telling me, Will, you're saying it wrong. It's Nepal. Reason number three, and it all comes down to that dollar. Nepal is one of the cheapest places that you can travel to and really get your value for money. From a Skyscanner article and so many other travel websites, Nepal is always rated in the top 10 for the cheapest countries to travel to. From food to accommodation to activities to transport, you really can make the most out of your money when you come to a country like this. For budget travelers like myself, it's obviously great because it means that your money really does go a long way. You know, you can spend probably 500 pounds a month and you're laughing. Or you can be on the other side of the spectrum and you know, you want to go to these five star fancy resorts, then also there are many places in Nepal to go and do that. You really do get your value for money out here. Reason number four is all about safety. Nepal is one of the safest countries that I've ever been to and this is coming from a person who had his wallet stolen on the first week when I arrived into the country and that hasn't affected my time since. That could have happened absolutely anywhere in the world. Being here for this amount of time, I've really been able to see how safe the country is. The Nepalese people are extremely kind, extremely hospitable. They will always try and help tourists whenever they can. And I think especially for female travelers because there are obviously some countries which put female travelers off, I think Nepal is a great, great option because I have met so many female travelers here doing it solo and they have not once felt in danger or at risk or felt like the country isn't safe. So if you are a female traveler and you are watching this and you know, you're a bit scared to go to perhaps other countries like India, then I think Nepal would be a great option to start with. Like any country though, you do need to go with a bit of common sense and always have your wits about you. So the last reason, number five, why you should come to Nepal kind of links in with number four, and that is all about the culture here. The culture of Nepal is expressed with music, dance, arts, crafts, religions, and of course, food and drink. 
I think it's very well known and documented and I have myself really felt this, that the Nepalese people, they really treat foreigners and tourists that come to their country almost godlike. Guests to their country are extremely well respected, extremely well looked after and treated with immense kindness and hospitality. This is something which I actually read uh, a few days ago, but it is so true. Nepal may be a poor country, but its heart is rich with love. And honestly, that couldn't have been any more true from the experience that I've had here and many others. This country is so diverse with different ways of life being lived from every corner and it has over 32 different cultures that you can learn from. If you're looking for that culture shock, then head to Kathmandu, the most populated city in Nepal, where you'll really be amongst the local people walking the streets, going to the markets. Or if you're looking for a bit more calm and serenity, then come to a place where I am now, like Pokhara, which is surrounded by an incredibly beautiful lake, forests all around and the Himalayan mountain views from everywhere you look. Personally, I think Nepal is one of the most well-rounded countries that I've ever been to. It has that natural beauty, which I think most people look for when they go to a new country. It has in abundance the activities, the adventure, the trekking, the hiking, you name it. It has it all. It's an extremely safe and cheap country to travel to, so you're really getting your value for money. And the culture here is absolutely incredible from the music to the food to the people. As you can see, I absolutely love this country. I've fallen in love with it, as I said in the beginning. And uh, I hope this video has given a little bit of inspiration uh, for you to look into this country if you are thinking uh, of coming here. If you have any questions at all, please do let me know. Whack it down in the comments or send me a message on Instagram at Will's Whereabouts. The last few months while I've been here, my channel has actually grown considerably and about 60% of the people on my channel are actually Nepali. So uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure put it in the comments and uh, you know the people watching my videos will be able to answer probably better than I can. If you did enjoy the video and you found it useful or inspiring, then please give it a like and uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel because I plan to make plenty of other travel related uh, videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you in the next one. Peace.